welcome to our new YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Pedroso, and I'm the Director of Family Catechesis and Evangelization here at St. Catherine of Siena Church. As part of our family faith formation this year, we are so happy to be able to bring you a series of videos called Faith, Family, and Food. These short videos will help walk you through how to create a fairly simple yet delicious meal that celebrates a liturgical feast day. Cooking with a liturgical calendar in mind helps us to live leisurely, to live intentionally, to choose to walk with God and see where he's working in our lives, regardless of the circumstances in which we find ourselves. The family meal is particularly important. Studies show so many benefits to eating together on a regular basis. For example, eating as a family gives young children an opportunity to develop their language skills. Children can also develop fine motor skills as they learn to use utensils, as well as social skills like patience, taking turns, and basic manners. They also learn how to make healthy food choices. Children who regularly enjoy family meals are less likely to experience symptoms of depression or experiment with risky behaviors. They even earn higher grades than children who eat alone or on the run. Families who eat together also report feeling a stronger bond with each other, as dinner time allows everyone to reconnect and share their day. And don't forget about the savings to your wallet. Eating at home is much more economical than eating out. These are all great reasons to make a regular family dinner time part of your family's routine, but there's an even greater reason to enjoy the family meal. The Gospel of Luke clearly shows that every meal is a participation in the one great universal family meal of the Eucharist. In fact, the family table becomes a school where the most important things in life are learned. The family meal in your domestic church at home is a reflection of the great family meal of the Eucharist. Is it any wonder that there are so many benefits? So let's get started. We begin our liturgical cooking series with the saint we will be learning about this year, Saint Hildegard of Bingen. We chose Saint Hildegard to be our saint for the 2020-21 year because she so aptly exemplifies a saint who lived leisurely. Living leisurely does not mean laying around or just chilling out. It means choosing to see our lives as a pilgrimage back to God and walking with the Lord down the journey of our lives. We've created a whole page on our Family Faith website that explains more about this idea of living leisurely. And St. Hildegard shows us the way. St. Hildegard lived in Germany from 1098 to 1179 and was part of the Benedictine order. She was an author, an abbess, an artist, a composer, a philosopher, a healer, a mystic. And in 2012, Pope Benedict canonized her and even named her a doctor of the church. She's actually known as the visionary doctor. He named her a doctor of the church in recognition, not just of the holiness of her life, but also for the originality of her teaching. In her own words, she described her spirituality as constantly seeing the reflection of the living light in every place and in everything. She saw God everywhere. She heard God and praised him in music. She saw God's healing power in herbs and developed remedies for treating the sick. She was an artist who recorded the visions that she received. She was an author who explained her understanding of God. She was a counselor who guided people spiritually. She was an abbess in a position of authority and responsibility. We look forward to learning about her and journeying with her this year. Just one more thing. Those of you who were in Generations of Faith will recognize a familiar face in our kitchen. Lead volunteer and kitchen coordinator Beth Odom has graciously agreed to lend her talents and her family in demonstrating these cooking videos. Even though we can't gather together in Johnson Hall for the big family meals like we used to, we hope you will use these videos to gather together in your own homes in your domestic church.